Hello, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can connect your Canva website to a custom domain name in a few simple steps. And just in case you don't have your own custom domain yet, you shouldn't worry at all. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how you can also get yours from a platform I have been using for over four years. So let's dive straight into it. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time seeing my face, then I think you should subscribe to this channel because this channel provides you with everything about Canva. And if you're an OG, thank you so much and always know that I love you. So before we move to the important section of this video, there is something we need to clarify. The difference between a custom domain name and a free Canva domain. So a custom domain name is any domain name you buy from any hosting platform. And usually you buy this making sure it's representing your brand or your business. An example can be the africangigs.com. This represents who I am and what I do. And when we look at a free Canva domain, as the name tells you, this is a domain name provided to you by Canva for free. This is not bad at all because it also helps you to set things up quickly and launch your website with some few clicks. An example can be the africangigtemplate.my.canva.site. This doesn't really represent the business or the brand in any form at all because it also helps people know that this website was created in Canva. True and yeah, that's pretty true. So now let's look at how you can get your own custom domain. If you already have a custom domain, then I would advise you move to the next section of this video. Okay, but if you don't have, stick with me. Let's dive straight into the platform I have been using. The website name is narcotech.net. Okay, and if we scroll down, um, I would advise you go in for the hosting as well. Okay, so we have the shared hosting. Make sure to come in here. Okay, now they have a lot of interesting plans, and I can tell you so far, I feel like this is the lowest i've seen so far so the basic month which is 12 um usd annually okay yeah so in a year you're only paying 12 dollars which i feel is very 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 affordable in a month we are just paying one dollar and then two dollars but the difference is that you don't have any free domain okay so i just advise you go in for the annual plan okay so i can just come in here to get started because we just want to go for the most basic one and this is if you are now starting up fresh trying to set things up for your business you can use this platform i've been using it and i still use it to this day okay so once you come in here you would have the option register a new domain transfer your domain from another registrar or i would use my existing domain and update my name so you can just say register a new domain just in case you don't have one already then you can enter any one at all so i'll just say a b c d of things okay com and we would first of all have to check if it's available okay so we can see it's available then we can just come to add to cart all right so when we when we click on that we can just come here to continue okay interesting so you can see we have this option over here and um, we also have the option to choose your billing cycle so monthly quarterly you know um semi-annually or you want to go annually you know which comes with a free domain so i just suggest to go for the annual one okay then if you want any additional um you know add-ons you can do that but i think you should just leave it for now then you just come to continue okay so once you come to continue this is another additional stuff they have for you which they just get to do it for free so just stick on the dns management for free if you want to add on the id protection which i think you should add you know it's i don't think it's going to cost you the arm and the leg at all okay so then come to continue the next page you should see is the review and checkout here we have the shared hosting and the domain registration once you're ready you just hit on the checkout but before you hit on the checkout make sure you're hitting on the i have read and agreed to the terms of service okay so this is what you have to do now once you finish it that's when i'm going to show you the back end so we can just start linking our canva website to our domain website and if you are on any hosting platform at all the process is the same you just have to know where to find certain things that's the only difference okay so let's get into it all right so you can see i have logged in and i'm going to go into the back end and my kind of website i'm going to be linking is the product landing page we created in the live session some weeks ago so just in case you missed it this the, you know the link is also in the description box below so you'd find it if you haven't created geos already okay so it's everything is just loading so while it loads let me just switch back interesting okay so 
once you come into your dashboard okay make sure you are finding your domain name okay then just click on that so once you click on your domain name it should bring you to this page but once you're on this page make sure you're looking for log into plex okay that's the actual hosting platform you know the back end but it's like the front end or the surface layer of it but now we are going deeper into that so we just click on log into plex okay so now that we are here the first thing i would advise you to do is to come to add sub domain okay and with this website we can see we are just selling this photo descriptions book so the subdomain can be maybe photo descriptions dot the african geeks dot com okay that would be a subdomain or you can create a special domain name for it which is going to be maybe get my templates dot com okay so you can also go in for that but the subdomain is just going to be like a child domain after the main domain so the main domain can lead you to your website but the subdomain can lead you to other places so you'd find websites like like blog.canva.com the blog.canva.com is a subdomain okay so now that we have this let's go and do that so i will just say templates okay so i come here and say templates you know dot the african geeks.com and i can just come here and click on okay so once we click on that you can see everything has been done for us okay yeah fantastic 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 so this is where we are at the moment and the most important thing we are going to do is to come to the ssl slash tls certificate but this just has to do with securing the domain name just to make sure it's not easy for hackers to break into your website okay and mess things up so we'll come in here and what i'll need you to do is to come to install a free you know basic certificate so this is free so just click on that and make sure you're checking all the boxes okay then get it free and while this is loading i just want to plug in some few things in here in the link in the description box below i have a free portfolio canva website just so you can just get things up and running quickly and just to also make it easy for you to follow with this tutorial so just in case you don't have your website yet kindly check in the link in the description to find my free portfolio website templates okay so you can see this is what we have at the moment so all right so just come to reload and while you click on reload this is the pop-up you're going to see and don't worry i'm just going to show you how to fix everything okay so we'll just come back into website and domains over here now you also find the templates you know listed in here so what i mentioned was template of the african so i'll just select that and make sure you're also selecting yours okay then we'll come to hosting and dns okay now once you have this what i'll need you to do click on dns okay so dns just means domain name server which basically interprets every domain name into an ip address so once you enter template.theafricangeeks.com the computer definitely doesn't understand these words okay so it translates these words into an ip address so you have something like maybe 01.123.123.00 something like that okay so we'll look into that later on okay so we have this in here and um, what we are going to simply do is to check out all of these boxes and come to enable fantastic now we have all of these these records in here so as you see this the next thing i need you to do is to come to your canva website okay then um, come to edit design so we can publish or change stuff in here okay so hit on the publish website then we come in here to change okay because we now want to change the free domain to a custom domain okay so i click on change and you can also purchase um, a new domain name from canva okay uh -huh, you can do that but if you have the existing domain or if you've bought your domain from another that hosting platform and make sure you are heading to use my existing domain click click on that come to continue and you should find more options in here okay so the first thing we are going to do is to enter the domain name in your option you should see connect domain okay but because i've done this before what i have to do is to come to connect another domain so i can come in and paste it in here okay oh look at me so template dot the african geeks dot com Okay, so when I do that, and make sure you don't add the www dot or HTTPS. No, just use the name with template of the African dot com. My book at the at whatever dot com. My book dot com. Uh -huh, just go straight to the point. Then click on continue. Okay, so after you click on continue, you'd see a number of instructions we are going to be following. Awesome. Okay, so this is what we have to do. So click on continue first of all. Okay, and um, what we need to do is to delete some records. So we have the A records and C name records. Okay. So so I'll just come in here. In this case, I'm just going to minimize this. Okay. Maybe hit this here. 
and let me just minimize everything so interesting so we have some a records in here so you're saying that delete any a record so this is an a record or if i'm to make it big you'd realize that we have a a a a a a okay so select all of them so select select then we just come in here to remove okay so i just come in to remove and yes remove the records okay and update the second thing we have to do is with the c name records okay so delete any c name records with an empty name all right so we would come into the c name so let me just go in there to see if it has an empty name okay so you can see this one has um, some name in here so i'll just cancel and if it has even at so depending on your hosting platform it may have at www or an asterisk okay so we are just going to be looking through all of them to see if they have that or not okay so you can see the name over here has some values in here so we just cancel so we just had to confirm that it's not empty we have some things in there okay now let's head on to canva and let's go to continue now it's saying that we should add a text record or a txt record okay so first of all copy the name you're going to use and come in to add record okay and this step we have the record type so which i'm going to choose a txt the name in here i'm going to paste this here okay then we have some values in there so you copy the value copy so we come in here to the txt record and we enter you know this in here then apply okay then we go back in here and you know just click on txt has been added now we have to add a new a record okay so i'll click on apply just to make sure it leaves there so that we can add another record so the next record i think is on here the a record okay so so we come back come here to add a new record okay then we would also have the a record so in this case i'm also going to copy all of this things so what you can do here is you can leave it blank okay or you can add this at whatever but make sure you're copying the value or where it's supposed to be pointing to so this ip address we copy it come into the ip address over here and paste it okay then click on OK. Now, as this is loading, we will just come in here and click on A record added. Then we have to add another A record. OK, so remember, we deleted two A records, so we have to add two A records. So we come here to add another um, A record. Okay, So we have this over here. Come back to Canva. Make sure you're copying, you know, the, the name. OK, so you paste it here, www. Then we come back to copy the, this IP address. So copy it and come to the IP address over here and paste it. Then click on OK. So when you do that, it should load and um, also send you to the other, you know, to the previous page. OK, so now let's come in here and say a record added. OK, so just to confirm every other thing. So delete C name record with an empty name, blah, blah, blah okay so we realize that the c name just to confirm if we did i'll just come in here okay so we are going to delete this okay because it has a www so let's go back and let's do all the deleting of the c name okay yeah so i'll select this one okay and come to remove okay yes remove then let's check this other c name as well just to be sure we don't have anything that's going to conflict or make things mess up so okay this isn't um blank so i'll just cancel it Okay, and now that we've done all of that, what we are simply going to do is to head on to update. Okay, so just update everything, come into Canva and make sure you're clicking connect domain. So Canva should load and this should actually take you about three hours at, you know, at most, even though they get to tell you that it takes up to 48 hours. I think that also depends on the hosting platform you're using. But the first time I tried this with this particular um, hosting platform, it took me about three hours to get a confirmation email that everything has been linked. Okay, so that's what you just have to do. You just have to be patient after you do all of this. So we can see Canva is actually processing everything. And once it's done, you can see V are on the right part so we can just say publish okay which means that the link and everything has been done just that it will take a while for it to go live okay so that's the only thing you have to keep in mind okay so let's see how everything is loading i think so far it's looking good it's processing and it's preparing a design i hope you found this help when it wasn't confusing and just in case you have any question at all just make sure you're leaving it in the comment section so that if i have to make any additional video about this subject i'll just do that so we can see it's saying that your domain is being verified by your host okay and your domain is being verified and could take up to 72 hours to process you can check its progress by viewing your domain settings we will send an email to african Geek agency when your blah 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 is purchased so you can see what they are telling us and um yeah this is with it so i did it with um one of my website which i'm just going to show you in a moment 
So if I come here and I just search for workshop to workshop.theafricangigs.com slash workshop event, it should lead us to a website I actually created in Canva. But you can see this is the website loading up beautifully and it works. It actually works. So it just helps you to have a unique brand name just to make it easy for your audience to always remember. And um, yeah, just in case yours didn't work out, let me know in the comment section and I would be glad to help you out. And if I have to make another video just to address the issues, I'll just make sure I do that. To learn more about Canva, the video on screen is a suggested video, YouTube things you should watch. And yes, the name is Benjamin. Always remember there's no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video.